Hello, hello, hello! What's up tonight, everyone? Welcome, welcome, welcome! Uh, Gertie, Justin PFK, Git Bickler, Rolsey, the Octolon, what's going on, everyone? Professor Tasty Cactus, Zyflon, DJ, Quali Pulmaro, Shuka Plays. How's it going tonight, everyone? Happy Tuesday to all of you. Good to be back after the long weekend. Ready for some more stream action. Oh, man, this deck is crazy. I'm super excited for this. What's up, Dur Turbos and a Bad Magic player? And our Paul Gleco Nyrum. Oh, good to see you, everyone. So, Ixalan is in full swing. Spoilers looking super exciting, super awesome. The set is the set is looking better and better. There seems like there's a lot of really powerful uncommons in the set, which is awesome. It's always good to have playable uncommons. It makes things a little bit cheaper for standard. Uh, so, yeah, I'm super excited. Pirates, I'm definitely on the pirate side. Someone asked Dinos versus Pirates. I think the pirate deck is going to be pretty legit. I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty excited for that. Yeah, I mean, Bubble Hulk, I think, is just a nickname for Protean Hulk, which has bubbles on it. It is the Bubble Hulk. <laughs> uh, we'll talk about this deck in a minute, because the deck is super crazy. It's going well, that nerd. How are you tonight? Oh, uh, yeah, so excited for Ixalan. Excited or, like, interested in this Magic uh, Arena announcement coming on Thursday. So when we stream on Thursday, we'll have that to talk about. Twiggy13 and Martinez0519, welcome you both to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscriptions. Big scoops here for our new subscribers. Yeah, so I'm excited for that as well. So it's going to be an exciting week. And then Hascon and more spoilers. And we had a spoiler today, Thematic Compass, which is pretty spicy. So I don't know. I'm all hyped up tonight. Strong Badinator for the eight month in a row, last day before classes start. Oh, yeah, it's that time again. And Vindalon, hello from China. I'm going to study abroad and YouTube is banned. At least I have Twitch. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you for the subscriptions, both of you. Big scoops here for you. And that's crazy that YouTube is banned. That's a bummer. I have never played Bubble Hulk before, so there might be a few punts. <laughs> uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting. So anyway, let's do our reminders. Oh yeah, so reminder number one before we jump into it. Um, I'm going to try to sneak out at 9.30 tonight. So every year we do this content creators fantasy football league has got like me it's got wedge from the manasaurs it's got chaz it's got corbin from brainstorm brewery and tcg player so the fantasy football draft is tonight at 9 30 so we're gonna do our entire league but if we get done with the league by 9 30 we just won't do Momir, and I'm going to try to sneak out so I actually don't miss too much of that. So, sorry about that, but we'll still get our whole league in. Just a little sneaking out early. Anyway, reminder-wise, the YouTube channel, that's where you can find all the series that goes up. We got daily spoiler videos. The Budget Magic last night was super sweet. I was super happy with flavor, uh, Favorable Wins or Blue Burn. The deck was actually super fun to play and way more competitive than I thought it was going to be. So I was super happy with that. Also, a surprisingly spicy Against the Odds coming out tomorrow featuring Elementals in Modern. So keep an eye out for that. Also, the replay YouTube, that's where you can find all the old streams, including this stream in the future. It'll go up tomorrow morning. And, of course, the merch page. That's where you can get tokens and t-shirts and playmats and all that sweet stuff to support the stream and the channel and the site. Yeah, the Blue Burn deck was super fun. I mean, it's possible if our league goes super fast, we'll still play Momir. But if we get done with the league, I'm going to try to sneak out 9.30-ish tonight. Uh, so we'll see. I mean... I got a feeling this deck might not play super long matches, but I don't know. It also depends on if our opponent scoops once we start comboing off. So we got to talk about we got to talk about this list. Oh, also, of course, uh, donations. If you are interested, you can donate below. Two bucks or more gets your message right on stream. Definitely not required, but uh, also uh, super happy if you do. You should totally play 120 or 150 card Scape Shift on stream. That's a deck that's actually easier to play on Moto, I think. No shuffling to worry about. We played Knight of New Alara in green, white, 
Green white, little kid green white. I don't know, a green white beatdown deck. So we have played it once, but we could play it again. Uh, anyway, all right, let's talk about this deck. So, so this deck is, this deck is insane. So here's what we got going on. This is called Bubble Hulk, and it's named after Protean Hulk, which has bubbles on it. So that's where the name comes from. It's named after this card. So our one and only goal is to get a Bubble Hulk or Protean Hulk on the battlefield and then have Protean Hulk die. So to achieve this, our primary plan is to reanimate the Bubble Hulk. So this is what we got going on. We have Discard, Collected Brutalities, and Thought Seizes. We can point them at ourselves if we need to. Uh, actually, we can't. We can use Collective Brutality to discard the Bubble Hulk directly. Thought sees mostly for our opponent, but it can't target ourselves. So that gets stuff in the graveyard. We got Is It Charms, Cathartic Reunions, and Faithless Lootings to stock our graveyard on the early turns. If we don't have a Protean Hulk in hand, we can discard a Stinkweed Imp and start dredging to get even more cards in the graveyard. So get a Protean Hulk in the graveyard, step one. Then we need to reanimate the Protean Hulk, because there's no way we can wait till seven mana, just too expensive. Our best reanimation spell is a weird one footsteps of the Gorio. So why footsteps is so good in this deck is it not only reanimates the creature, but it also makes the creature die. It doesn't get exiled. It dies on the end step, and that's the primary goal of the deck. Makeshift mannequins kind of our backup reanimation plan. So get the Protean Hulk in the graveyard, and then this is what happens. This is where it gets really fun. So we get a Protean Hulk. The Protean Hulk dies. Then we tutor up a really specific combination of cards to win the game on the spot. So step one, Protean Hulk dies. We tutor up first a Visira Seer and a Body Double. So Body Double enters the battlefield. It copies the Protean Hulk in our graveyard. So we have another Protean Hulk. We can sacrifice it to the Visira Seer, which gives us another tutor ability. I should mention Protean Hulk, when it dies, you get to search for any number of creatures with total converted mana cost six or less. So five and one is six. So our next tutor with Protean Hulk is going to be a Revlark and also a Mog Fanatic. So now we have a loop where we can sack the Revlark to get back the Body Double to copy the Protean Hulk. In between, we sack the Mog Fanatic. The Mog Fanatic pings our opponent for one. When, <laughs> when the Body Double comes back in from the Revlark, it copies the Revlark, which... Uh, and we also get back the Mog Fanatic. I'm butchering this a little bit. It's kind of complicated. But basically, we just keep looping Revlark, Body Double, and Mog Fanatic, pinging our opponent with Viserys here as our sack outlet. So that's the plan. That's what we're doing. That's the only thing the deck does. We also have Woodfall Primus, which I guess is a sweet way to, like, blow up stuff in a fine backup reanimation target. So, uh, so yeah, that's <laughs> that's the plan. I've never played the deck before. It's pretty complicated. There might be punting along the way. We'll see. We also have Venser, which is an interesting Revlark target, since it can come back from the graveyard, bounce some of our opponent's stuff. Pact of Negation for protection, along with Thoughtseize. Dark Blast, a little bit of early game removal that dredges. Lightning Axe, big removal to kill Thought Knots and such that lets us discard. Another Woodfall Primus for blowing stuff up. Explosives, kind of a catch-all for little things needles gemstone caverns remind me of this because i know i'm gonna forget this comes in when we're on the draw for free land value to speed things up and then besage you and counter spell matchup so our reanimation doesn't get countered so that's the plan this is what we're battling with is there any way this will work? I mean, it's a semi-known deck. It's definitely on the fringe of the format, but we're going to give it a shot. So we're going to jump into a league, see how this goes, and then we can uh, we can talk about we can talk about uh, whatever. So the history of Bubble Hulk is actually interesting. So when Protean Hulk came out, there was it was GP Columbus 2007. There's a card called Flash. If you don't know what Flash is, let's see card. Flash. So Flash is one in a blue instant. You can put a creature from your hand onto the battlefield. If you do, sack it unless you pay its mana cost reverse by up to two. So in this deck, it just absolutely broke Legacy. It won on as early as turn like 0.5 on your opponent's upkeep of the first turn. A lockout. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. So it won super fast and it absolutely just broke GP Columbus because all you did was flash in the Hulk and you won. The combo back then was actually even more hilarious. You got Disciple of the Vault 
which uh, drains your opponent whenever an artifact goes to the graveyard. So you got f you got four Disciple of the Vault, you got four Shifting Walls, and what was the other one? It's another zero mana artifact that has zero toughness. So basically, all that stuff comes into play and immediately dies, and you drain your opponent for 32. So it just absolutely broke Legacy, and that led to... It getting emergency banned right away. After that one tournament, they just banned it because it absolutely broke Legacy. <laughs> yeah, it was ridiculous. Oh, man. All right, it's uh, it's time. We're going to do a friendly so we can punt our way through. Maybe end up feeding the children with uh, some treasure chests. Oh, man, that last one. Not a great record. Uh, Yep, Bubble Hulk time. Whew. All right, we're ready for a 3-2. Actually, ready for the 5-0. We're just going to Bubble Hulk people. MTG Fun, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big scoops here for our new subscriber. Goblins, yeah, I like goblins in modern. I think it's a pretty sweet deck. I don't know about what does Quest for the Goblin Lord do. When a goblin enters the battlefield, huh? That's an interesting budget option. A little bit like shared animosity. Uh, I think by, uh, goblins is a fun aggro deck though. All right, ready for round one. Bubble Hulk. It's Bubble Hulk time. Uh, Bubble Hulk is Protean Hulk. When we, you'll know when you see the art. It actually has bubbles on its back. No, we're just starting, Connor the Comrade. Just about to kick off our very first match. Whew. All right, here we go. Oh, nothing happened to Jake. Well, Jake just retired from doing content. Jake had some health issues, uh, but thankfully he recovered, came back to doing content, and then eventually just kind of like got burnt out from, um, from doing content, I think, and stepped away from content. What's the latest on Budget Magic excluding Lands Edition? Haven't made any changes to Budget Magic. I don't know if we will, but I definitely... Oh my god. Um... I definitely appreciate the feedback. It's the nuts. We got the nuts. We absolutely got the nuts. We're on the play, right? Yep. So we have our Hulk. You can see the bubbles. That's why it's Bubble Hulk. Bubbles on the back. Uh, so turn one, Thought Seize. Turn two, Is It Charm, discard our Hulks. Turn three, Footsteps of the Gorio win the game. I think this is... I think this is exactly what we want. So we'll keep this. I think this I think this is it. So we'll just black cleave clips. A uh, cl cliffs. Thought he's our opponent. This does not interact with us. So we'll take Wait, is Tide Hollow even fast enough? They play a land. Yeah, we got to take Tide. Ugh, Arbiter though. Hmm. Wait. They can't play Tide Hollow yet. Yeah, we can't have them resolve Arbiter. So wait, we take a card, they play a land, we is it Charm, they play Arbiter. Yeah, they can play Arbiter, we win before Arbiter. They play us on turn one, takes up, turn two. Hmm. I think we just win before this stuff matters, so we'll just take Tide Hollow Sculler. Pass the turn. I think we're just fast enough that we win here. Oh, yeah, I didn't update the record. Hang on. I will fix that. There's the ether vial. Also, stream mode. Er. Yeah, technically we're 0-0, zero, zero, not 3-2. Three, 3-2 two. Three, two was the sweet Death Cloud deck from Thursday. All right, play Watery Grave, untapped, pass the turn. Oh, we're we're trying to uh, we're trying to do some bubble hulking. There's a ghost quarter, there's an ether vial, and now we win. Ha <laughs> ha! And you thought our opponent was gonna play the Leonin Arbiter. <laughs> All right, so let's see if we can do this combo without messing up. Draw two, discard two. We'll discard. Oh no. Oh no. Oh deck, where's the deck list? Oh boy. Do do we have more than one body double? That would be bad. I'm very scared now. Body double. T 
two. Thank God. All right, we have two body doubles. So discard Hulk. Discard Hulk. Untap. Who we got there? Do we have a basic if they fire off this ghost quarter? That would be a bummer. All right, play the swamp. Footsteps back our Hulk. All right, we got there. It was sketchy, but a nice little turn three win for Bubble Hulk. <laughs> yes, we did it. Now we just pass the turn. Oh, come on, opponent. Be nice and scoop for us. Don't make us do this. All right, so we sack Hulk. Now we have to do this without messing up. So search for step one, Viserys here, body double. So Viserys here, body double. Body double copies Hulk. Sack Hulk. Search for Revlark Mog Fanatic. I think we're doing it. Mog Fanatic, ping the opponent. Vizier is here. Sack Revlark. Revlark, get back body double Mog Fanatic. Oh man, is our opponent going to make us go through this? Body double counters, copies Revlark. Ping our opponent. Oh my goodness. Sack Revlark. Revlark, body double Mog Fanatic. <laughs> Copy Revlark. Oh, we have to do this for so long. Oh my goodness. The tediousness. This might have been the worst deck to play if we're trying to end at 930. <laughs> Uh, it's working though. Look at how sweet this is. Turn three. Turn three kill. Zach Revlark. Oh man, I just have to do this 16 more times without misclicking. And I can't even like really look at the chat because I'll misclick and everything will get messed up. But the combo, the combo's working. Zach Revlark. Body double fanatic. Opponent's down to 15. We're dealing like what one damage a minute approximately <laughs> give or take oh why isn't our opponent scooping uh yep copy revlark i guess they're just hoping for the misclick value ping our opponent like we accidentally ping our viserys here or something that would ruin our day but you can see how powerful the combo is when it's not disrupted so copy Revlark. Opponent's down to 13. We're getting there. We're getting there. And if we mess up, we can scry a million times. So there's always that. Nice fallback plan. Infa scry. Okay, Mr. Panda. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. All right. I'm sure this isn't the most entertaining thing to watch, but... <laughs> Miracid, seven months in a row. If you play a tier three deck, you deserve to run the uh, deserve to run the combo. All right, fair enough. I mean, our opponent's certainly within their rights. If they want to make us play it out, they certainly can. So I don't think they're doing anything wrong. It's, a, it's slightly obnoxious, but it's not wrong. I mean, there is. If your goal is to win, hoping your opponent misclicks is a way you could potentially win an otherwise unwinnable game on Magic Online. Halfway there! We're halfway there. We're doing it. Down to nine. Oh my god, this takes forever. <laughs> oh, this combo! So much clicking! And there's not even any auto yield. You just have to do everything because you got to click everything individually. Oh man, I wish there was a way to loop on Magic Online. That would make this much less much less uh, scary or time consuming. Opponents played exactly what 37 seconds of this game. So we're winning there. We've played a lot more than our opponent. Copy Revlark down to 7. Down to 6. Sack Revlark. <laughs> Get back both. <laughs> oh lordy. Lordy lordy. Copy Revlark. Pig our opponent. We're, we're getting faster. We're getting the clicks down. Boom, boom. Get them both back. 
This is where I misclick because I'm getting overconfident in my ability to make these clicks. Ping our opponent. Click Revlark. Get them both back. I think we're speeding up, though. That's the good news. Copy Revlark. Ping our opponent. Down to four. We're doing it. Down to four. Revlark. Body double. Fanatic. Get him back. Copy Revlark. Ping our opponent. Sack the Revlark. Down to three. Get back. Body double. Fanatic. Down to two. Copy Revlark. I think I could have... No, I couldn't have. I was going to say I could have sacked Fnatic in response and won that way. Down to one! Victory is at hand. How long did that take us? Seven? Was it really seven minutes of clicking? Oh, my good lord. Well, we got you, opponent. <laughs> Era! Uh, oh, my... No, that... Now, the opponent. <sighs> That's a little... Now, this is a step too far. I'm not really comfortable with, with, uh, if you want to make someone play it out, that's fine. But intentionally manipulating the clock like this, I think that is sketchy and wrong. So, now I agree that the opponent's, eh, not too happy with the opponent. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's a little... That's just my personal opinion. No offense to our opponent in specific, Mac Daddy, and someone I missed a minute ago, Sammy, 16508. Welcome you both to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big scoops here for our new subscriber. All right, so we're playing against Death and Taxes. Yeah, I mean, if you want to make your opponent play out the combos, <clears throat> that's perfectly fine. I think... I think the reason that I don't like that I don't like the activating meaningless abilities is there definitely were, there are ways that you can make your opponent lose with that or at least there used to be. For example, if you have mana floating, you can't F6 or at least you couldn't. I don't know, this hasn't been recently. So your opponent could theoretically just keep actually practically it really has happened. Keep activating abilities and force you to time out, so uh there's music. It's just super quiet. But we won! We won! Alright, so we're on the draw, which means caverns. Thank you, chat. Luxac, a welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big scoops here for our new subscriber. What else do we want against this stack is a question. More removal? Is that where we want to be? Like, they're going to bring in Graveyard Hate, I'm sure. Which is very good against us. So maybe we need, like, Explosives? Explosive seems good. Gemstone Caverns can come in over... I don't even know. A land of some type. Oh boy. We should start sideboarding earlier. Uh, maybe Sanitarium? Let's go down Sanitarium. And so engineer explosives, collective brutality is good, thought seize is kind of necessary. I guess we can go down the simian spirit guides and bring in a lightning axe, maybe something along these lines. I don't know if dark blast kills enough, does it? Adam Shank, 11 months in a row, 11 months and still loving every minute of the stream. Well, thank you so much, Adam Shank. Definitely appreciate the subscription. Maybe we just try it like this. I love the ape, but I just don't know what else to sideboard out. Everything else is like a combo piece or a removal spell that we need. Oh, uh, the football thing is just a fantasy football league that a bunch of content people do every year. I don't think it'll be public, though, so I don't know if there's a way to watch it. Maybe next year, hopefully, it'll be like that. Biomaster, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. If budget doesn't matter, are there times where you'd play Tormod Script instead of Relic? Uh, the only time that I would do that without budget being a concern is if you're playing some sort of graveyard deck. Because Tormod Script only nukes one graveyard. Relic hits both graveyards. So sometimes there are situations where that actually matters. We'll keep this. We have a removal spell for Arbiter. We have Stinky for some dredging, maybe. Ooh, and a Thought Seize. Well, Polluted Delta, Sack Polluted Delta. Thought Seize is good. Grab a Watery Grave. We want to leave our basics, I think, for Paths and Ghost Quarters. Sculler and... Whoa! Oh, the Temples. 
Well, take Scholar. Pass the turn. Man, we're actually kind of close. I don't think S Savage Stomp is particularly playable outside of Limited. We've seen Prey Upon before, one mana fight spells. Maybe if you're really desperate for removal, but I would be surprised if it was really standard playable. Maybe in Dinosaurs, but I assume that they, you have like Lightning Strike, Dinosaurs are in Naya. So I think you'd need a very specific deck to need that as your removal spell. Vectorecho, nine months in a row. Welcome back to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Um, I think we're just going to steam vents and run out explosives on two. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. We can't really do anything else. We don't have a target for this lightning axe. And this kind of heads off a potential rest in peace. Lightning strike is super good. That's the best burn spell we've had in standard for a while. We will definitely be playing Revel in Riches once it comes out. Ooh, let me see this standard deck. Cornball Club, welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Ooh, Bludget Blue Black Cycling. Oh, I was just thinking about some sort of Abandoned Scarcophagus control deck. It looks really fun. All right, so I think we stop on our upkeep, kill Displacer, discard Stinkweed Imp, and Dredge. Maybe. We do need one more land. Well, maybe we just draw this turn. This might be too greedy. We do need a land. Ooh, there's looting. That's good. So that's Faithless looting. There's Footsteps. So we discard Woodfall Primus. Discard Stinkweed Imp. Play a Swamp. Pass the turn. Well, next turn, I guess we can just get back our Woodfall Primus and blow something up. I think we've played most of the alternate win conditions. I'm trying to think if there's any we haven't. I think there's some legacy-only ones that we haven't. I'm trying to think there's an enchantment cycle with, like, Test of Endurance. I don't think we've played all those. Uh, spoilers come out every day. The official Wizards ones come out in the morning at, like, 10.30-ish Eastern Time. But then other ones trickle, uh, trickle out through the day. Brutality kills some important things. Like, um, Leonin Arbiter is very good against our deck. It's also going to kill this Flicker Wisp eventually if we need it to. Yeah, we're doing fine. Ugh, thought not. That's actually pretty annoying. That can take our Lightning Axe. Those are good draws. Opponent drew Displacer, Thought Knots here, back to back. That's again. Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. They gotta just take Lightning Axe, I think. Oh boy. Maybe we shouldn't have Faithless Lootinged. We're gonna get locked under this Thought Knot Seer, potentially. We have never played Bubble Hulk. I'm pretty sure. I mean, they gotta take Lightning Axe. Or we just kill Thought Knot. I'm sure that's what it is. Hey, I miss you, CT. How goes it? Wow, they don't take it. They take Footsteps. Okay. Well, what do we draw? Um, no dredge this turn. Oh! <laughs> Another footsteps. Oh, boy. So what do we do? What do we do? So we... We just kill Thought Knot. I mean, we can get back Woodfall Primus, blow up a land, blow up a land. Maybe we just do that? That actually seems pretty insane, too. But then they're going to keep Thought not locking us. Arxift, welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. So do we just blow up the two lands? Is that the best play? Blow up Temple Temple? Alright. I mean, that sounds fun. I'm a little worried about Thought not, but that does sound pretty fun. 
So footsteps. Oh man, our opponent's got to be so mad. That's just the card they took. We'll get back a Woodfall Primus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, temple down. And then we'll pass the turn. Oh, our Woodfall Primus dies. Oh, it comes back. <laughs> oh, that's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. Now our opponent needs colorless mana even to blink the Thought Knot. And we have a big blocker. And if they dis displacer it, it's insanely awesome for us. Oh, man. That made me pretty happy. You know how much I hate Eldrazi Temple. Two of them blown up for three mana was... Now I understand the power of Woodfall Primus. I thought Primus looked weird in this deck. But now it actually seems pretty sweet. Hey, get Bickler. Have a good night. Thanks for swinging by. Oh man, it would be so sweet if they blunk it. Oh my god, the third temple... Flicker Wisp. Okay. Flicker's Thought Knot. Okay. Um. I guess we just draw. So Thought Knot comes back, unfortunately. Now they take the Lightning Axe, I'm sure. If we drew one more land, we could start dredging, but... All right, no dredge. We got to draw the land. There's the Hulk. Huh. We have to not lose here as well. Yeah, it is best of three. Uh, yeah, Hallychrome, I believe those have been sent back to you. So you should be getting them shortly. But I did receive them, and I'm pretty sure I sent them back out. The problem with Cathartic is we're dead on board here. We have to kill something. We have to kill Flicker Wisp. So we might have to just... Cathar uh, brutality, two modes. Drain, kill Flicker Wisp. Yeah, I think that's what we gotta do. Or else we just risk dying straight up. So two modes, collective brutality... Drain our opponent. Actually, does draining even matter? Do we drain or do we duress? I think we just drain. Yeah. So kill Flicker Wisp, drain our opponent, discard Hulk. Pass the turn. Uh, if you send stuff to contact at goldfish.com, that all goes to Richard. If you send stuff to Saffron Olive at goldfish.com, that goes to me. What did our opponent find? Wasteland Strangler. Okay. Oh, man, are we going to lose? Man, our opponent has drawn a pretty crazy string of cards. Attacks, attacks. Do we have to jump here? Man, I can't believe our opponent has drawn this. That is pretty ridiculous. Oh, uh, come on, deck. No dredge. Ugh, more brutalities. Opponent's gonna... Oh my goodness, okay. They should not have done this. So, flow mana... I think this lets us win. Wow, I can't believe they did that. So we float mana, get ghost quartered, set a stop. Wow, we needed our opponent to ghost quarter us to have a chance. Get the island, makeshift mannequin, our Hulk. Pass the turd. I guess if our opponent... Uh, I guess if our opponent has land, then Shambling Vent can kill us here. Watch our opponent. Oh, man. Oh, they don't have black mana. Oh, they can Ghost Quarter themselves. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, we're going to lose now. 
Uh, we have a new subscriber, but I can't find the name anywhere. I heard the splash. Draken for the 11th month in a row. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big scoops here for our new subscriber. I mean, the problem... Oh, I guess we're not just dead to Shambling Vent. We go to one. Maybe we still have a chance. Nearly same gym for the 11th month in a row. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big scoops here for our new subscriber. I think we're actually okay. Because if we untap, we just brutality our own Hulk to sack it. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. If our opponent tries to blink it, it sacrifices and we combo off. We just have to do it without timing out. Hey, awesome, Taylor Jones. I'll be looking forward to getting it. Yeah, you're right. We do survive at one. For some reason, I was miscounting that math. They can't do anything to it because um, our reanimation spell, Makeshift Mannequin, basically makes it an illusion. So if, be if it becomes targeted by anything, then it gets sacrificed, which is the other reason that we like this is our removal spell. Wow, I can't believe. Why would our opponent ghost quarter there? I can't believe they did that. All right, opponent. Attacks, attacks, attacks. Hmm. Displacer can't disrupt our combo, right? Well, thank you, Netherum. Definitely appreciate it. Yeah, it seems unlikely that they'll be Mo Momir tonight. Ah, uh, it's going well. Um, does this disrupt our combo? I don't think so. Get stuff, get stuff, sack, sack, sack. We do have a card in exile. I guess we just got to block displacer. And then we lose to collective brutality, but... All right, I think we got to do that. If they have collective brutality, then they got us. So displacer down. We drop to two. Opponent passes. Upkeep. No dredge. Oh, opponent's got a draw step stop set. Oh, we have a draw step stop set. Now we just got to do this without timing out. Can we attack first to speed up the clock? I think so. Destiny Warrior, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big scoops here for our new subscriber. So attack our opponent just to speed things up a smidge. Down to 12. Collected Brutality. I guess we just go three modes. Duress, target, Hulk, drain, discard, discard. I mean, we're either winning here or losing here. Sacrifice Hulk. I guess they could have path in hand, I think. Does that stop us? I don't think path stops us, actually. I'm pretty confident it doesn't. Because we have another Viserys here. Well, we might as well flow to mana. Grab our island. Hulk. So we get our Viserys here. Get our body double. Copy Hulk. Let Brutality resolve. Just to land. All right, we got there. All right, back to this funness. Sack our Hulk. Get Revlark and Mog Fanatic. Ping our opponent. Oh, man. We just got to do it without timing out. Sack Revlark. Is our opponent going to scoop? And we got there! <laughs> Oh, uh, thank you, opponent. I definitely appreciate scooping the second time around. Oh, thank goodness. We would have won without timing out, but it would have taken a while. So we made it. Well, that is that is how the deck works. The 5-0 Dream is super alive with Bubble Hulk. And 
that was pretty impressive. We never played the deck. We didn't, uh, we didn't, uh, yeah. I, our opponent definitely helped us out. If they didn't ghost quarter us for no real apparent reason, I guess they were just hoping we didn't have lands, but that they knew about, they knew about the makeshift mannequin or makeshift mannequin. Yeah. So we got, we got pretty, uh, we got pretty lucky that our opponent did that. I think, or we wouldn't have won. I made a gnarly discard control deck and now my friends won't talk to me. Uh, that's a bummer bipolar Panda, but sounds like a fun deck. For you, at least. <laughs> Whoo! Well, we snuck it out. We bubbled them. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. They can path your Seer with the Lark ability on the stack. If you want to play around it, you get the second body double in Seer after the first. Ah, I see. The Hulk actually has bubbles on it. That's why it's called Bubble Hulk. Protean Hulk has bubbles on its back. Big Bird 87, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber. But wait, we get Body Double. Body Double copy Protean Hulk. When we sack the second Protean Hulk, we could get a second Viscera Seer. And the second body double and just do the loop again. And then we have two Viscera Seers. That actually is probably the safer thing to do. So I think that's how you play around path. Uh, graveyard hate is our biggest problem. They could path the Seer with the Revlarks trigger on the stack. But we just loop it so we get a second Viscera Seer. So first tutor... Body double and Viscera Seer. Sack the body double Protean Hulk. Get body double Viscera Seer. Then go through the loop with two Viscera Seers on the battlefield. Yeah, Blue Burn was super fun. I That deck was actually a blast. Maybe we'll play it on Thursday. Oh, man, we're down to eight seconds. All right. Let's see if we can keep the winning streak alive. Ah, uh, All right, this sounds fine. We got lands, we got ways to filter. No reanimation or Hulk, but we'll find him. I know, I almost called it Blue Burn because I thought the name sounded super sweet, but I was worried that people would... We only had one burn spell, so I thought people might be weird about that. Ooh, speaking of burn, we're up against Red Burn. Let's just Scalding Tarn crack it. Oh, we don't even have a mountain? All right, well, ugh. get a Blood Crypt, untapped, and Faithless Looting. We don't have a basic mountain. Discard Primus, discard Stinkweed Imp, pass the turn. Well, we'll see. This is just totally a race, 100% a race. Oh, what's up, Bot Punchels? Yeah, I don't know. Twitch is weird with notifications. Sometimes they work well, sometimes they do not. I want to start doing MTG content creation. How would I go about starting on a budget? Uh, I would just get your own blog, maybe. Start posting things on Reddit. Also works pretty well. Um, just start making content for free. If you want to start doing video content creation, then maybe look towards like Popper or Momir are cheap formats that you could do if you wanted to do it that way. Uh, I thought it was because the Hulk had bubbles on its back. <laughs> Mr. Tofu, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. I like my explanation better. Big scripture for our new subscriber. When... Yeah, I should do things around the house, <laughs> but there's cool decks being played. I know, isn't that the problem? It gets in the way of all the things you're supposed to be doing. Senior Fury Win Red Vids on YouTube, loving it. Would you change anything for the current meta? Uh, I think it's actually really powerful. Minio86, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. I don't think you got to make any major changes for the current meta. Let's draw and discard. Um, yeah, let's dredge once. Hmm. Well, discard the Stinkweeds. That did not work. We didn't hit what we needed. Ugh, I feel like we're probably losing this one. We're probably just dead to what's in our opponent's hand. Mm. 
I guess we draw. Well, Faithless Looting. What do we got to hit to win here? Is there even a card? So Dredge won. Still didn't hit anything. Draw one. Simeon Spirit Guide. So discard, land, and Stinkweed. Play Black Cleef Cliffs. Exile Spirit Guide. Flashback Faithless Looting. Eh, we'll just draw. There's a Hulk. And a Mannequin. Ooh, all right. Discard Hulk. Discard Gaia Reach. Pass the dirt. Yeah, I don't know if this is actually going to win. You check out my commander deck. I tried to make it as close to free win red as possible. Ooh, that sounds miserable. Jaya Ballard. It's a fun commander. Oh, uh, that looks pretty powerful and probably not much fun to play against. <laughs> I love it. There's a Skullcrack. Also called Bubble Hulk because the team called on the bubble tried to break hulk after the flash banning oh all right that makes sense as well well we need our opponent to just have nothing is it charm so play a swamp we win next turn if our opponent has nothing but the odds that we live that long are pretty slim skull crack two cards in hand down to four come on all lands all lands all the time goblin guide that doesn't actually stop us, because we can Mannequin. Opponent attacks. We get Polluted Delta. So let's Mannequin our Hulk. I mean, they probably still have us dead, but... Do they have the burn to finish the game? Or are we going to sneak out a win? Scarab God Quicksilver Fountain. Interesting. Quicksilver Fountain's like the Blue Blood Moon. The really slow blue blood, blood moon. I'm very interested to see what MTG Arena is. So we block. Are we not dead? Why are they not just throwing burn at our face? Whoa, are we going to sneak this out? Oh my lord. Actually, do we have the pieces left in our deck to win? That's the other question. So cancel. So this is going to be interesting. I'm sure there's a way to... I'm guessing it's some sort of, like, somewhat, like, Magic duels -y type game. But I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I, the the Scarab God deck looks fun. Quicksilver Fountain is a cool card. So, anyone with experience with Bubble Hulk, how do we win from here? With our pieces being in the graveyard. I guess we have two... Well, I guess we get them back with Revlark? Alright, so let's Is It Charm. Hit our Protean Hulk. Protean Hulk. So what do we... Do we do the same line? Viserys here, Body Double. Viserys here, Revlark. So get Viserys here, get Body Double, I think. Revlar can see her? But we need the Body Double action. We have, yeah, I think this is right. So see her in Body Double. Body Double copies Hulk. Seer, Sack, Hulk. Get Visira Seer and Revlark. Now we have double Seers, so we don't lose to just one. Yeah, now we're good. Now we get back our loop, and we have double Visira Seer. So we're not going to lose to a Lightning Bolt on a Seer. So I'm assuming we got this. I mean, I think if our opponent could burn us out, they would have done it by now. All right, so we get it back. Copy the Revlark. Oh, this is a long road to victory. Sack. Let's see if our opponent makes us play it out. 
But I don't think they can stop us from here. But it's just going to take about 10 million clicks. Yeah, I guess that's true. With Revlark, it doesn't really matter if the Fnatic has been milled. So Zag Revlark, Body Double Fnatic. 23 times to go. Yeah, we definitely should have attacked first just to cut time off the clock. Oh, thank you, opponent. And our opponent scoops it up. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Oh, I've never... <laughs> Normally, you say that burn players aren't human, but this uh, this opponent is a good burn player. <laughs> oh, all right, still winning. Oh man, watch up! Yeah, if they let us combo down to one life and then bolted our face or something, that would have been brutal. Uh, wisdom teeth out is no fun. All right, so what are we doing in the sideboard against Burn? Do we have anything for Burn? I'm assuming we just race Burn, essentially. We can bring in our Gemstone Caverns over the Gaia Reach. What do we go? What would we even go down, though, for Thought Seize? I mean, maybe we just need Explosives? They could, they're white, they could definitely have rest in peace or relics, and explosives is our best catch-all answer. Maybe just something like that? That's true, they could have probably won multiple leagues in that time. <laughs> yeah, Please Scoop is definitely the the name of this deck. Yeah, Thossies is not great against Burn. Inquisition is much better. It might just be something like this. This deck has been sweet so far. All right, let's run it like that. We'll try it. Our opponent being on the play is going to make this harder. Uh, I X Therius, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. We'll have to play a rats deck sometime. Or Shadowborn Apostle Thrumming Stone deck. That would be kind of fun. Uh, yep, Zero Lander. All right, I guess this is fine-ish. Second explosives, definitely to the bottom. Yeah, I mean, you're trading up, like, two damage for three damage or something. So it's not that it's horrible, but it's not great. Eh, Blood Crypt tapped. Pass the turn. I don't know about Pact of Negation. Maybe Pact is worth it. Do you think Mono Black Aggro will be viable in Ixalan Standard? I'm really excited for Pirate Aggro. There's a Relic. Well, thankfully, we have Engineered Explosives and a Relic. All right. We get an Is It Charm. Hmm. Well, let's just explosives on one. I'm glad they ran out both relics. That makes our life easier. Especially since our other one is on the bottom of the deck. Play Steam Vents tap, pass the dirt. Pack could be a good to protect when going off. Yeah, it definitely is good at that. I don't know if we need that against burn, though. Maybe we do. Opponents probably just got to pass here and crack their relics to draw cards, or they get super blown out. We draw a Stinkweed, so let's pass the turn. Next turn, we can actually start doing stuff. Let's see if our opponent preemptively cracks relics to use their mana. Oh yeah, what were your first thoughts on the 3-4 Black Pirate that gives your opponents two treasures? It's really sweet and an interesting design, but I don't think that it's actually a playable card for the most part bonus spikes us down to 14 we don't have any life gain so we actually have to combo off pretty quickly i think we got to sack explosives here get rid of the relic mr dumb dumb yo yo welcome to the fishbowl thank you for your subscription big scoops here for our new subscriber all right opponent exile sacks Sure. Well, we get to Cathartic Reunion, Discard, Stinkweed Imp, and Discard a... 
I guess it is it charm? No dredging. There's a land. There's a body double. And a stinkweed imp. Hmm. <laughs> so play Scalding Tarn and... Uh, I don't really want to shock ourselves. Let's just pass. I'm a little worried about pitching Fnatic because if our opponent... If our opponent exiles our graveyard, then we lose our combo. And we know they have relics. So it seems risky. Just got out of seminar. I was like five minutes late. Missed the past few streams. Hopefully I'm still on the Momir list. Well, I'm sure you are, Agent Blur. I don't think you get removed from the Momir list, generally speaking. Opponent plays a land. Four cards in hand. Well, we get a Sex Scalding Tarn. I don't think we can combo off this turn. We'll get a Watery Grave. No dredging. Polluted Delta. So let's Faithless Looting. No dredging. Polluted Delta. Collected Brutality. That's interesting. Discard a Stinkweed Imp. Discard a... I guess we'll discard Mog Fanatic now. Play Polluted Delta. And then just Collected Brutality two modes. Drain our opponent, duress our opponent. Discard Body Double. Collected Brutality is pretty sweet there. That's probably going to gain us like five life. Oh, is he? The Slimity deck is so much fun. Oh, man, I wish I wasn't streaming. I would go watch, I would go watch him play. <laughs> Uh, let's see how much burns in our opponent's hand. You get removed if you miss five games of Momir in a row. All right, that makes sense. Down to six. Are we just dead? Down to two. Oh, my goodness. Well, take the Searing Blaze. Go to four. Pass the turn. Oh, we got a combo soon. Scalding Tarn. Uh, not going to crack this polluted delta. No dredging. There's the Hulk. So, Faithless Looting. We're like a turn away? Two turns away? No dredge. We need a reanimation spell. Land, land. Discard Hulk. Discard a land. Play the Scalding Tarn. Pass the turn. Oh my goodness, this is going to be close. Come on, keep whiffing, opponent. Keep whiffing. Now we gotta find reanimation. Opponent plays a land. That's a good sign. No dredge. Spirit guide. Alright, play Visira Seer. Pass the turd. Oh boy. Do you know how many people view or watch your articles or videos? I have a pretty good idea. You can see numbers on YouTube. This is live, Jones Joshum. Riftbolt to one. Oh, no. Well, all right, we're not dead. <laughs> is it charm? Oh, my God, we're staying alive. Come on, deck. We need the reanimation. If we draw reanimation here, we win. No dredge. Oh, it's an island. All right, so we... Is it charm? Does is it charm do it? So we... Wait, we... Is it charm? We draw reanimation dead card. Uh, so is it charm doesn't do it, even if we hit it? I don't think, because we can't sack a fetch. So play the land. But we can't cast it. Oh.
Yeah, we don't have enough mana because we can't crack a fetch. Yeah, we're, we're, we're at one life, so those fetches need to stay uncracked. All right, pass the turn. Opponents passing. So we, is it charm? Draw two, discard two. Hulk. Body double. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh! No! Oh! No! Oh! So brutal. So now we gotta hope we just draw land? That seems unlikely. Alright, pass the turn. Alright, I don't think we punt there. We punted there. Harsh Mentor. <laughs> oh no! You gotta be kidding me. That also shuts down our combo. Oh, no. I don't know if we have an answer for Harsh Mentor. Body Double. Copy Hulk. So now maybe our plan is... I don't even know. Hey, welcome, Fleetwood One. All right, opponent found a bolt. Oh, that was so close. Yeah, be down with Hulk was our only plan. Oh, wow. That was so super close. Well, that's what we get for being a bit too slow. Harsh Mentor, eh? We don't even have Lightning Axes in our deck, and we used all of our Is It Charms. Uh, we're 1-0 right now. Oh, we were like one card in hand away from winning that. Well... From trying to win that one turn. Oh, we are so close. Yeah, we'll take the we'll take the cavern back out. Put guy or reach back in. I don't know if we change anything else. I guess we could I guess we can go down Thought Seas for Lightning Axe just to have another answer to Harsh Mentor since we know our opponent's playing Harsh Mentor. Wait, so we could have do we could have comboed off there? Am I actually were we wrong? Did we actually have the win there by sacking with our Viserys here? So we had to wait till our opponent's turn and we could have comboed off. So we could have comboed off in response to the lightning bolt. Is that the bottom line? Alright. Let's try it like that. Well, they had a Harsh Mentor, but apparently maybe that would not have mattered. Ugh. This hand. We have a Hulk, but not many lands. So turn one, we just Faithless Looting, Discard, Hulk, Stinkweed. We also have our Revlark in hand, which is pretty bad. I think we got a Mulligan this. Oh, this hand is way worse. I guess we continue to Mulligan? This hand has zero lands. We might actually keep this one. Ugh. Alright. I think we gotta keep this. Stinkweed to the bottom. Spirit Guide Faithless Loot. Oh my goodness, deck. Discard Body Double. Discard Lightning Axe. That... <laughs> oh no! Well, now things are bad. Ugh. Well, things are looking super grim. Monastery Mentor for our opponent. Oh, we really needed that Faithless Looting to find lands. That was our whole plan. Well, there's a land. Scalding Darn, Crack It. Oh, we're going to be burning ourselves. Faithless Looting. 
Discard Woodfall Primus. Discard Makeshift Mannequin. Yeah, I'm not very confident in this anymore. Stu55 for the six months in a row. Says, give me that damn playmat. Yes, Stu, I owe you a playmat. I haven't forgotten. Welcome back to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Opponent, Rift Bowl suspended. Swift Spears like crazy. He gets in. Well, Spire Bluff, Collected Brutality, two modes. Duress our opponent, kill a Swift Spear. I don't think this is going to work out for us, though. We have zero cards in hand. Mold of five does not seem... Oh, no. Double Goblin Guide. Yeah, I don't know if there's any, any combination of draws that get us out of this. Ah, yes, I know, Stu. Resubscriber, that's what I meant. <laughs> According to the podcast, you may not be a meme person, but your but your person is a meme. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Rift folded to eleven. Yeah. Oh, we really needed to win that last one, unfortunately. Goblin guide. Goblin guide. Yeah, we're just dead next turn. Land. Well, there's our lands. Looting, yeah, none of this really matters. Explosives, oh, huh, oh, it doesn't work. Oh, if we had one more card, we could have wrath our opponent's board and maybe had a shot. Oh, yeah, that's game. Oh, so close. Jeez, so this deck does not like uh, mulliganing to five, apparently, we learned. Down to one and one with Bubble Hulk. Yeah, just too much mulliganing there, unfortunately. Yikes. All right, we haven't had a break yet. Quick 30-second break. Be right back with round number three. And we're back. You got to see Ween? Awesome. With less Claypool? That's super awesome. Yeah, the problem is we didn't have enough cards. That was the main problem. We had to discard two to Faithless Looting, so we couldn't keep two sources of mana and the Engineered Explosives. Rory the Rogue, welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. All right, we're going to keep this and trust that Faithless Looting is not going to betray us again. We have our reanimation. All we need is to hit lands, and we're, like, in super sweet shape. So, Steam Vents untapped. Faithless Looting. All right, well, we drew another Faithless Looting, so at least we get a respin. We'll discard a mannequin. Pass the turn. These Faithless Lootings are not being kind to us tonight. Opponent, Island, and Sleight of Hand. Uh, Storm, yikes. That seven was pretty bad, wasn't it? I don't remember exactly what was in it. Well, let's keep Faithless looting -ing. Ugh, that is not the land we needed. Discard, Makeshift Mannequin, and Primus. Play an Island, pass the turn. Really wanted black or red mana there, not our basic Island. Oh, uh, the combo's kind of convoluted. It would be easier just to see it when we do it than to try to explain it, because it's not very easy to explain. There's Brawl. Yikes. No Dredge. More Woodfall Primuses. No Dredge. Come on, mana. All right, there's Scalding Tarn. Discard Primus. Discard... I guess Brutality, I think? Play Scalding Tarn. So we do get to Thought Seize here, which is helpful. Get a Blood Crypt. Untapped. 
This Thosies needs to be really good. Oh man, our opponent has the nuts. Are we dead? Yeah, we're dead. We're just literally dead. Okay. Well, that was a quick one. <laughs> oh, thank you, the Octolin. I watched Favor of Wednesday. Would Spell Stutter be an include over Mana Leak, or is Leak just more reliable? Um, Spell Stutter is interesting. The problem is we don't have very many spirits, which is kind of... Or don't have very many fairies. So that's kind of the issue. I guess it could be worth testing, but it would pretty much only ever counter one mana spells. So I don't know. Mana Leak does counter bigger things that Spell Stutter definitely wouldn't get. I have a question when you get a chance. I'm building Cast Spell Slinger and would like to have your opinion on what to add or what to remove. Oh. I am not good at analyzing commander decks on stream. There's just so many cards, but it looks like you got the basics. You got ramp and you got card draw. So I I mean it looks good to me. Yeah, we're just dead. And they got the grape shot. Yeah, there's no sense in even keeping this going. We're just quite literally dead. Good to see you, Kurtash. Well, that was fun. Pony just had the stormiest of storm hands. So we can bring in the Thought Seas. What are the chances that treasure tokens make cards like Bantu's Last Reckoning playable? Uh, I mean, I guess having mana helps, but... I don't think it increases the value of those cards a ton. I think it improves those cards, but I don't think it's like they go from unplayable to staples. But they do get a little better if you have a bunch of mana sources that aren't lands. Vendetta is a fine removal spell, I guess. I mean, I guess it could be used as like a budget fatal push. The problem is it definitely does add up damage wise. I'm not sure if it would be better than just playing like a Doom Blade or something. Hmm. So what do we do? We bring in the Thought Seas. We have a lot of discard. Maybe we just bring in one more Thought Seas. We could bring in Pact of Negation. I don't know if it's worth it. We'd be using it defensively to stop our opponent's stuff, and then we would just die to it. I don't know about Besaju. I guess we could bring in a Besaju over the Gaia Reach. Doesn't seem that great, and just try it like that. I think a Gideon's deck could be pretty good. I mean, the Gideon's deck pretty much worked without the new rule, and with the new rule, it should be even better. So yeah, I think there's a pretty decent chance that like a Gideon Tribal deck could work. Alright, this hand is actually pretty close. All we really need is a way to discard our Hulk, and we're just ready to go. And we get to Thoughtseize turn one, which is nice. So, blue to Delta. I do not have any paper EDH decks. I don't really play paper very much at all. Sometimes, like, pre-releases and stuff, but not really much of a paper player at this point. We'll take Watery Grave and just... Thought sees our opponent. Peak, past in flames, gifts ungiven, desperate ritual. Hmm. So gifts is our best card. Peak is our only card that lets him really accelerate, though. Oh, maybe it would have been better just to thought seize ourselves. It's so hard against Storm. Well, I guess it would have been hard for them to win there. The other thing is they could definitely have Graveyard Hate, which would make that plan really backfire. It's definitely riskier after sideboarding to thought seize yourself. Oh boy, they peel the... Huh. There's our sideboard. I guess that's... Uh... Did I just open that without realizing it? I didn't know you could pull up your sideboard. That's a new one. Okay. Hmm. Uh, cool, I guess. There's is it charm. All right, now we're set. So Scalding Tarn, pass the turn. In theory, we should win next turn. 
interesting. Is it worth sleeping on the couch to phage my wife and kids with fractured identity on Family Magic Night? Uh, yes, I would say so. <laughs> uh, how often are you going to get to phage? <laughs> phage your whole family. <laughs> uh, inspire bluff for our vote it. Well, unless our opponent drew a counter or something, or a surgical or something, we should just win. And I don't even think they normally have one mana counters. So get a steam vents untapped. Is it charm? Discard our hulks. Untap. Play the island, footsteps, and hopefully this just ends the game. So pass the turn. So the last remaining problem would be what? I don't even know. I guess a lightning bolt or a surgical. So Hulk dies and we're back to the fun. Get a body double. Get a Vizier here. <laughs> this deck is a bit repetitive. Body double. Copies Hulk. Sack the Hulk. We can't get a backup Viserys here, unfortunately. Get a Revlar. Get a Mog Fanatic. Uh, Spikes Cafe, welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. And our opponent scoops it up. Well, that's good. Most of our opponents have been doing a, uh, a reasonable job of scooping for us. <laughs> oh, I definitely appreciate it. If you fade the family, come over my way. I provide family therapy. Well, that's a good offer. Uh, that worked pretty well. Can't complain about that. Now our opponent gets to be on the play, though, which is a little scary. Hey, you're welcome, Spikes Cafe. Yeah, the Mono Red Storm deck was sweet. It definitely has some things that can be improved, but it's pretty sweet. Uh, Zero Lander. Well, opponent's mulliganing as well. Ooh, all right, we'll keep this. We got the footsteps, so we just got to get a Hulk in our graveyard. Primus to the bottom. This could work. We'll see how fast our opponent's draw is. Uh, the Saffron Olive name. I think there's a whole description in there. Actually, that's not it. <laughs> Basically, it was an old nickname, Saffron, that I got a long time ago and kind of caught on. And then Olive was from Olive Drab and the Etcetras, which was a band I was in at one point. And that was one of the gimmicks, was everyone's last name was Olive, so... <laughs> oh, there's our Revlark. So let's just get a Blood Crypt untapped and looting. Discard Stinkweed. Discard Revlark. Yeah, I think that's fine. Pass the turn. Can't wait for the standard group hub deck mentioned on the podcast. Oh, that deck feels so bad, but it'll probably be pretty funny. Yeah, there's a Venser in the sideboard. So you just recur Venser and bounce all your opponent's stuff. We do have a Venser in the sideboard. That's true. Uh, but yeah, in the main deck, it's just Fnatic is the main win condition. Spire Bluff. Did our opponent whiff on lands? Hmm. Well, I think we just looting. Yeah, it's looting. All we need is to find our Hulk. Well, maybe we just dredge, actually. Let's dredge. That gets us closer to finding Hulk. Discard Stinkweed. Discard... Footsteps. One Footsteps. Play Spire Bluff. Faithless looting. Ugh, Primus and Dredge. Discard Stinkweed, discard Primus. There's a Hulk. All right, so if our opponent doesn't do something, we win next turn. Roll C for the 10th month in a row. Welcome back to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. 
Make some MTG story time vids. Ooh, that could be a fun video series. If our opponent doesn't have a land... Oh, I think we got it. Unless they have a surgical that they're slow rolling, which hopefully they don't. If they don't have a surgical, this is game. And we're up to 3-2. Uh, yeah, we won't dredge. So, play the island. Play footsteps. I think we got it. Get the Hulk. Do we actually have the win? Do they have surgical? There's the Hulk. Go to our end step. Our opponent, three sleight of hands and could not find a land somehow. That's like our faithless looting luck. And, whoa! Opponent shows the hand. Double swan song, but they didn't leave it up. And on the two and three with Bubble Hulk, the deck is kind of working. The deck is actually, the combo is really janky, but it's actually pretty effective. Whoo, sweet. Yeah, I don't know why I said 3-2. I meant 2-1. Woke up at 4 a.m. today for work, but I'm going to stay up as long as I can for you, buddy. Oh, well, thank you, Flozilla. Could animate Primus and kill their only land? Uh, yeah. I mean, that would be fine, too, but we might as well just kill our opponent if that's an option. Oh, thank you, Alex S. And sweet that you've graduated from budget. That's kind of like the natural progression for some people. You start on budget, learn the game, eventually kind of go from there into more expensive decks. Do we have a $20 from Jones Joshum? MTG Goldfish is the best. Seth you, are, Seth, you are second to none. Cheers. Well, Jones Joshua, thank you so much for the donation and for the kind words. Definitely appreciated. Thank you so much. Oh, that's amazing. How on earth do you maintain a personality this uh, effervescent? I should know what that word means, but I don't. <laughs> Google! Google, save me! <laughs> oh, oh, voracious or enthusiastic? Uh, I don't know. I guess it partly comes uh, naturally, for the most part. Alright, we get to play first. And, okay, good enough. Did a vintage draft and won a white weenie, one with a white weenie deck. Oh, I thought you won a white weenie deck. I was like, what kind of vintage, what kind of vintage tournament gives out white weenie decks as prizes? I've heard of like win a mox, but I don't know if win a white weenie would, would bring in, bring in the crowd. Uh, yeah, we'll discard Stinkweed and Revelark. Pass the turn. Fire Bluff for our opponent. Unseen Spectre for the 11th month in a row. <laughs> Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for a new subscriber and also Super Kingermongu95. Welcome you to the Fishbowl as well. Big Scoops here for you too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I guess we just dredge since we're going to Cathartic Reunion. So Blackleaf Cliffs, Pluta Delta, Sack Pluta Delta. Get a watery grave untapped. Cathartic reunion. Discard stinkweed. Discard Visira's ear. Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, that was not good. I was not expecting. No one plays spell pierce. That's not a card that people play. Oh boy, that's bad. Uh, now we might be in a little bit of trouble. Uh, let's collective brutality. What is our opponent playing? Who plays spell peers? Yeah, the cl <laughs> uh, opponent remands. Yeah, it was fun to play the hard to mispronounce deck. That was a good submission by someone. I had to play it once I saw it. Fauna has an island. Maybe this is the breach deck. It could be blue red through the breach. Sack Scalding Tarn. Get a Steam Vents tapped. No dredge. More mannequins. Well, let's just Faithless Looting. See if we can hit a land. Like, land and Hulk would be good. 
Maybe. Oh my goodness, are we getting wrecked. Sp I still can't get over spell peers. I haven't been spell peers main deck in modern for, I don't even know, seven years, roughly. <laughs> Another spell peers. Oh my god. All right, pass the turn. I'm going to submit some of my fun tribal decks next time. Ooh, Rogues and Oozes sounds like fun tribal decks. Definitely should submit them. Favorite deck I've ever played because of an instant deck deck. Hmm. Actually, the one that's coming out next week is pretty sweet. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So we have, what, one swamp in our deck? Man, this has went about as bad as a matchup can go. Oh, boy. More mannequins. Oh, this is, this is not good. This is not good at all. Thoskauer for our opponent. Maybe this is just Blue Moon. Still, who plays Spell Pierce? Thing in the Ice. Tap Land. The odds of us winning for, from here are so small. We just... Is our Swampy... Oh, our Swamp's milled. Alright. I think we just scoop. I don't think... With our Swamp... We have one Swamp, I believe, right? Apron Cookin'. Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. We have one Swamp in the deck, and it's in our graveyard, which means we can never win. So we're going we're gonna to concede. Whoo! Yeah, Blood Moon. Live by the moon, die by the moon. And we definitely died by the moon that game. That was insanely brutal. This feels like it might be a really hard matchup. Yikes. So what are we doing now? Apparently Arena is a MOBA. How do we figure that out? Did they actually announce something? I mean, I guess it could be anything. We don't really know. So I guess it could be a MOBA. Yeah, that was collectively brutal. That's for sure. Well, bring in another Thought Seize. Bring in Besaju's. I think we can't bring in Gemstone Caverns, I don't think, because... I think we need Beseju instead, and I don't think we can bring in that many colorless lands. Beseju seems super important. Um, go down... I guess one Black Cleave Cliffs? Go down Spirit Guide. What else is our opponent going to bring in? Probably Graveyard Disruption. So bring in... Engineered explosives, I guess, for spirit guides, and maybe we bring in Pact of Negation, something along those lines, maybe ish. Well, the name arena pretty much tells, uh, pretty much is a MOBA with MTG characters. Well, arena is also like limited in Hearthstone, so that's like the other suggestion is maybe it's a Hearthstone y limited game. All right. Good hand? Eh, this is reasonable. Arena is actually a brain-computer interface that lets you play magic with anyone in the world by closing your eyes. Ooh. That would be pretty awesome. Probably unlikely, though. Discard Stinkweed. Discard... Revelark? Hope our opponent doesn't have Graveyard Hate on turn one. Beta testers report it's just duels. I mean, that's the simplest guess, is that it's basically duels. Play Darks like Shores, pass the turn. I was playing Is It Delver, but I got bored. I need a new deck with an Is It Shell. Any ideas that aren't too expensive? Hmm. I'm trying to think of an Is It deck we've played recently. Is it is a tough, not too expensive color. I mean, you could go like towards Jeskai Control or something, maybe. Well, <laughs> hmm. Discard. Body double. Discard. 
Blood Crypt. Ah, oh, so close. We're going to get Blood Moon, and it's going to be miserable. Faithless Looting. Probably going to get countered. Oh, we haven't drawn any fetches to even play around Blood Moon, unfortunately. Which is pretty rough. Oh, there's our friend Spell Pierce. Always with the Spell Pierce. Man, we could use a fetch land before Blood Moon comes down. Sleight of hand. Madcap Blood Moon is the funniest. Yeah, Madcap Blood Moon is pretty sweet. I remember we did play that one for stream, and it was pretty interesting. Well, I guess we just dredge. Play Steam Vents, untapped. Ugh. Revlark, we can't really combo off from here. I guess we'll just pass. I mean, Spell Pierce isn't a bad card. It's just a surprising card more than anything. You just don't normally see it in Modern all that much. Bonnet passes. We draw lands. Play Spire Bluff. Pass the turn. We really need another Faithless Suiting or something. That would give us a shot, at least. Spire Bluff for our opponent. This does feel like a hard matchup, though. Mog Fanatic. Uh, okay. Um, I guess we pass. Uh, I, I don't really know if it's worth trying to tap out. I think our opponents may be expecting counters. I don't know. I expect that if we tap out, they just counter explosives, play Blood Moon. Maybe, are they just trying to wait till they get... Alright, Young Pyromancer. Well, I guess explosives is good against that. Come on, Faith is looting! Oh, Brutality. Alright, that's not bad. So, Collected Brutality. Three modes. Opponent... Pyromancer, opponent, discard Stinkweed, discard Hulk. See if our opponent has a counter. Arena is a Oh, I already read that comment. Well, I mean, we're in pretty good shape here, I think, roughly. I already have blue white shocks and fetches since Nahiri is rotating. Do you think I can make a Jeskai Nahiri deck for not too much? Uh, yeah, you should be able to. If you already have the mana base for the most part, you should be able to, especially with Emrakul. That's the most expensive piece. The Frozen Celt, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Well, let's play Mog Fanatic. Pass the turn. So we... Oh, we have a shot next turn if our opponent doesn't have Blood Moon or anything. Or counters. When is it better to buy rotating staples on MTGO? Um, probably right after rotation is probably the best time. They usually stay fairly high, well, higher than in paper. They don't decline as quickly in Modo. So I'd probably wait till just after rotation. Uh, Fanatic is actually our easiest way to win with this mannequin, so we can target it. So we're basically just trying to wait for a window. If our opponent taps down, we can just go for the win at instant speed. So that's kind of the idea. Opponent goes attacking with everything. Interesting. Uh, okay. Down to 13. How can we... Ugh, our opponent's just not tapping out. We need a Besage you with Thought Seize. There's a Footsteps. 
Well, play explosives on zero. See if that gets a reaction from our opponent. Pass the turn. So now we can... I guess at least now we have two reanimation spells, so we can make shift mannequin the end of our opponent's turn, and then footsteps during our turn. Still not very guaranteed, though. Opponent gets in. We'll take it. Uh, Tragic Lessons is not really heavily played in standard at all. There's a sleight of hand. Alright, so let's... Makeshift Mannequin on Hulk. Before our opponent gets to peel a card. I mean, this is our best our best chance to go for it. I'm pretty good, MTG Nux. How are you? Welcome. Any plans on playing Mono Blue Painter deck on stream? Uh, definitely possible that we play it. It could be fun. We don't play Legacy too much, but we probably should play more Legacy. There's a Mana Leak. Yep. Uh, I don't think we can... I think this is our best shot, is to do this end of turn, and then main phase footsteps. At least we're, like, pressuring our opponent. And then we still have mana to sack engineered explosives if we need to. If we don't hit anything. Another mannequin. Well. So let's go with footsteps on Hulk. Oh, we got to tap for black, though. So footsteps, Hulk. See if our opponent has yet another counter. Jones Joshum, welcome back to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. There's a Snapcaster. We might actually just be dead, though. Oh, man. Well, it feels like our opponent's running low on counters, but they're not out of counters, unfortunately. Yeah, Mannequin's not a bad draw if we keep living. There's a negate. Well, past the turn. Now we can hope that we live, kill the tokens, and try again to mannequin on our turn. That's the best we got. Opponent goes attacking. So we got to crack explosives lest we die. And now we get one more shot at it. Assuming our opponent doesn't have, like, bolt, snap, bolt. Thing in the ice. Young Pyromancer. Uh, still leaving up mana. Well, Fuzzies, Woodfall Primus. Uh, I don't know if there's any reason. I guess we can wait till end of turn? I don't even know. There's probably no reason not to just go for it. Yeah, I mean, we just go for it. I don't think there's any way to make the timing better. So, makeshift mannequin, Hulk. Do they have another, another, another counter? They do. It's a remand. And that does it. One. Well, uh, alright. I guess we live, but I don't think this matters. I think we're still just dead. We block here, sack there, take four. So in theory, we survive, but then we don't have a Mog Fanatic, so we can't kill our Hulk, and we lose anyway. So I don't think this... What could we even draw now? I guess we just have to draw footsteps. I guess that's our only real out. So block with Fanatic. Kill the Pyromancer. Drop to one. All right, well, this is it. We got to draw footsteps right here, right now, this turn. Only out in the deck. Oh my god, it's the footsteps! Oh, come on, don't have a counter. Tell us, tell us it's going to work finally. Footsteps. We drew, oh my goodness, no! Oh my goodness. Well, that is, that feels like a rough matchup, especially when, uh, 
especially when we don't have Besaju and don't draw Thought Seizes. We just... Counter spells are insane against our deck. Oh, lordy. Lordy, lordy, lordy. Yeah, that feels like a rough one. Whoo! Well, I mean, I guess that's why there's multiple Besaju's in the sideboard. This deck seems like it really struggles against control. Yeah, we just got every relevant... Uh, Every relevant spell countered. All right, so this is it. We're out to round five, which means this round, this one match of magic, determines if the kids will be eaten this stream or not. We got to we gotta get a win to get a treasure chest. Malibur, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Snapcaster's pretty good. All right, here it is. The deciding match of our league. And if this goes fast, against all odds, we might actually get to wrap up with a game of Momir after all. And still be done at 930. Which is, that's the ultimate. We get done early for the fantasy football draft. And we get to play Momir. I did not think that would have been possible heading into, heading into this league. Uh, yes. This hand is about as bad as it gets. This deck is very prone to get bad hands. We have really specific cards we need. Uh, I guess this is a little better? Cathartic Reunion is good if this isn't a combo match. Oh, no! Oh, boy. Life is bad. Life is super bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Hey, yeah, good game, Ace Easton. Yeah, we have mulliganed a lot with this deck. I'm assuming it's just the way the deck's built. And there's a bolt. Oh, man, I am not... There's the Delver flip, of course, 97% of the time. Um, Yeah, I'm not confident in this matchup. Let's grab a Blood Crypt. Another counter matchup, unfortunately. I've been brewing a janky Gideon Pack deck. Ooh. That's a cool combo. Serum Visions for our opponent. That looks really fun. It's cool to turn the packs to free. And you got Demonic Pack, too. Literally packs. I was thinking Pack to Negation Slaughter Pack, but you have all the packs. I like it. Well, I think we have to take this window to Cathartic Reunion. I think that's the most important thing. Discard a Random Land and a Revlark. Hope we draw into some... Oh, boy. Oh, dear. Dear Lord. Land, Land, and Simeon Spirit Guide, a.k.a. Lotus Petal. That's a dude. Um, it's easier to describe if you see it, so it'd be nice if we actually were able to combo off and do it, but basically, with Body Double, Revlark, and Mog Fanatic, you can keep just looping... Ooh, Thought Seize is a good draw. Let's Thought Seize our opponent. Actually, play Dark Slick Shores first. So you just keep looping Revlark, getting back Body Double and Mog Fanatic. Body Double copies Revlark. Mog Fanatic pings the opponent. You sack the Body Double slash Revlark to get back Body Double and Mog Fanatic and just keep doing that over and over again. And it eventually pings away your opponent's entire life total. Oh. Man, Spellpierce.league, holy. <laughs> what are the chances? Um, two decks in a row with Spellpierce. Oh, dear. Well, I mean, I guess we take Spellpierce. Our opponent has eight points of burn and a Delver. All right, so let's pass... End of turn, our opponent will likely throw a burn spell at our face, and then we can kill the Delver without it getting vapor snagged. Alright, so now we gotta do the kill the Delver thing. So, Delver down. We drop to 8. We're still at risk of just dying to burn. 
We could win this game. It's possible we win this game. It seems very unlikely. Uh, now our opponent has mana leak mana too. And still a ton of burn. Well, play Scalding Tarn. Pass the turn. We just, we haven't found our, our hulks. This deck is definitely super explosive. And we get some really sweet turn three kills. It is also very inconsistent in our experience. You got to stay positive when you're bubble hulking. <laughs> a good draw could be right around the corner at any second. We probably are dead, though, because they have Bolt Burst Lightning. There's Burst Lightning. Down to six. Bolt. I mean, now Snapcaster were dead. Bolt were dead. Lots of things. Yeah, I mean, we're not going to play around Burst Lightning. I don't think we can in this situation. I think we got to get our lands. Get a Steam Vents tapped. Because we got to be able to play around Mana Leak, too. More Spirit Guides. Well, play Polluted Delta. We're just drawing the very wrong half of our deck. See you, Super Will. That's a dirt. Bonant. Are you going to stream Mono Red Tron at some point in the future? Ah, uh, definitely on the list of decks I would consider streaming. I think it could be fun. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, body double. Gets Revlark. Does nothing. Alright. I guess we can just cast body double. There's probably no reason not... Well, no. We don't cast body double. Then we drive to Vapor Snag. Pass the turn. Our footsteps doesn't do anything. It just gets back a Revlark and then the Revlark dies. And we die to... Alright. There's a Snapcaster. Yikes! That was not good. Well, that was only game one. We still have we still have two more shots to sneak out this win. And we get to bring in Engineered Explosive. Seems good. We get to bring in our trump card Beseju. Seems good. We get to bring in Dark Blast. Seems really good. So we got some good options coming in that maybe can make our our deck a bit better. Go down a few of the spirit guides. Go down Gaia Reach. Go down a Black Cleave Cliffs. Bring in the Besejus. Maybe we go down one Woodfall Primus as well for a Pact of Negation. Try it like that. Something along those lines, maybe. Uh, the deck is, does really super fun explosive things. We're, we're at 2-2 two two at the moment. So it does really cool things sometimes, but it's also super inconsistent sometimes. If I lose, I have to stream In Fact Followed by Green Red Tron. No! No, anything but that. Oh, I took out Dark Slick Shores. Oops, good call. Yeah, it was supposed to be Gaia Reach. Yeah, I guess we try it like that. Ah, uh, it's going interestingly, Christian. We're doing super sweet sometimes and then doing super poorly other times. Pretty inconsistent. Yes, we fixed it. Thank you, though. I definitely missed that. So we got to win two in a row to get our treasure chest. Two in a row. Oh, Boggles. I don't know what I'd pick if I had to choose between Boggles, Infect, and Green Red Tron. I mean, probably Tron, I would assume. If I had to play one of those. Alright, we gotta sneak out two wins in a row. I feel like we've also run into semi not great matchups. We've ran into a lot of counterspell matchups. Which is not exactly where we want to be with this deck. Good news is somehow Momir is looking like a possibility. Which I never would have guessed heading into the stream. Alright, we're on the play. Uh no discard. We have tons of reanimation. Yeah, I don't think that's keepable. Alright. This hand is lacking... Well, there's a Footsteps. Alright, alright. Shaping up. So let's just play Blood Crypt. Untapped. And looting. Come on. Hmm. 
Well, discard Spirit Guide, discard Swamp. Pass the turn. Nicole Bolas, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Flooded Strand for our opponent. Cracks it. Is it Delver time? If you lose, you have to go on a nationwide tour where you play three rounds in each state. Choice of Mass Limited or Evison Restored Limited. Oh, Lord. That might be worse than playing Infect, actually. You found a worse punishment. Polluted Delta. Crack Polluted Delta. Get a Island. And I think we're just going to two-mode brutality. Kill and Dress, I think. So dress our opponent, kill Delver. We'll just discard Mannequin. Because we'd make this uncounterable. Ugh, young Pyromancer. So we'll take Lightning Bolt, pass the turn. Well, I mean, we got a shot. We definitely have a shot here. Triple Dragon's Maze was actually fun. You could play the Gatekeeper deck, I think they were called. The things that cared about having gates on the battlefield. That deck was awesome. I had so much fun playing Triple Dra Dragon's Mage, actually. Uh, all right, is it, Matt? I'll try to win for you for staying up till 3 a.m. We have a shot. Oh, there's Hulk. All right. Well, I mean, in theory, we're two turns away from winning. Next turn, we Faithless Looting uncounterably. The next turn, we Footsteps. So we have to survive two more turns. And we might be able to. We got the Hulk. So I think... We'll see. I think we're favored now. I think we got a chance to squeak this out. Down to 15. Opponent passes. Wow, we drew all the Hulks. So down to 13. And footstep. Or faithless looting. Make it uncounterable. Unless our opponent draws Graveyard Hate or something. Oh, wow. Are we going to sneak this out? The kids might be eaten after all, against the odds style. All right, opponent's going to attempt to counter. I guess they just want a token. So discard Hulk, discard Hulk, play Tarn. Pass the turn. All right, this is it. They have to kill us here, or I don't think they're going to be able to disrupt us. <laughs> yeah, the five Zertar Druid deck. I thought tri uh, Triple Dragon's Mage was actually pretty sweet. Opponent gets in. Down to 10. I think we got it. I think we got it. And passes. So now we just footsteps uncounterably. Oh, hopefully they don't have a disruption, something to disrupt us. Get back our Hulk. Yes, yes. Yeah, Besaju is key in these control matchups, I think. We still have to win match three, though, remember. This doesn't just win us the game. They could have Surgical. Surgical would win them the game. Oh, man. Our opponent is all in on the casting. Yeah, I guess... I guess Vapor Snag would also be brutal here. Come on, no Vapor Snag. No Vapor Snag. Whew, Hulk dies. All right, we got there. We got there. So step one, tutor up, body double, Viscera Seer. Oh, we got there, and we can even play around stuff. Body double, copies Hulk. Sack Hulk. Now you can see the combo. If you've been asking about the combo, this is how the jank works. Gets body double, gets Vasira Seer. So we have double Seers this time to play around a removal spell. Get uh, copy Hulk. Sack Hulk. Get Revlark and Mog Fanatic. And now the pinging. Ping our opponent. Whoo! 
<laughs> oh, I can't believe we snuck this out, I think. And our opponent scoops it up. Oh, man. All right. We're so close. One more win. One more win, and we squeeze out the 3 1. Whoo! Yeah, body double is the key, one of the key pieces to the combo. The term mud doesn't make sense anymore, unfortunately. It was called that because the artifact borders were brown, now they're silver. I, I heard also Metalworker Utter Domination was part of the, the mud thing. Why do we not have this other thought, Z's? Seems like we should. Let's go down the last. Actually, maybe we go down a couple Stinkweed Imps. Stinkweed has been kind of mediocre to bad. And try it like that. All right, this is it. The win for the 3-2. We can squeeze out just barely a winning record if we win this game. Do you think Bone Picker might find a home? Uh, maybe. It needs the right support. You need, uh, I don't know what card you would need exactly. But you need a way to consistently trigger it on, like, turn two and it's okay. If, uh, turn one would be better, but that's hard to imagine. But it's potentially powerful. I've definitely seen crazy starts where you double Bone Picker on turn two. Uh, yeah, we can't keep the Zero Lander. We like Beseju, but you know what? I think we're going to keep this. We're going to keep this. This is... All right, Thoughtseize has got to go to the bottom. We're on the draw. Worst case, we can Spirit Guide Cathartic Reunion so it doesn't get countered. We got to We gotta have Beseju's. We got to have Beseju's. Beseju's super key. It's so important to our deck. And we have the Spirit Guide. It's a risky keep. It's a crazy keep, but we're keeping. Oh, yeah. We're feeling risky, but hopefully it pays off. Come on, deck. Land? Mannequin. All right, play Beseju. Pass the turn. We're doing it the hard way. We got a shot. This hand could work. Cathartic Reunion into Thoughtseize mana? That's pr oh, opponent's passing. Drives drawing a land would be the best. Yes! It's a Scalding Tarn. Uh, the question is, what are we doing with it now? We can still Cathartic Reunion. We gotta be aware of our life total. We can still just Spirit Guide Cathartic Reunion. Discard Stinkweed Beseju. I think we do that and see what we draw into. So, Exile Spirit Guide. Pay to life. Cathartic Reunion. Discard Stinkweed. Discard Second Beseju. Come on, try to counter an opponent. Our opponent has been consistently trying to counter. Um, I don't think we want to dredge here. Cathartic Reunion. Ooh, Collective Brutality is good. And Body Double. So play Scalding Tarn. Pass the turn. Hmm. Yeah, pass the turn. Hey, welcome, K Dengong. Good to have you. Is it burn spell to the FaceTime? Skirtis, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big Scoops cheer for our new subscriber. Opponent runs out of Snapcaster. Oh man, this is gonna be close. This is gonna be super close. Opponent gets in. Down to 16. Oh, uh, Delver. All right, Crack Scalding Tarn. We're spending so much life on this Beseju. Blood Crypt tapped. Oh, Lord, this is going to be close. Um, Do we dredge? No dredge yet. Faithless Looting. Uh, down to 13. Cathartic Reunion. Discard Body Double. Discard... Uh, discard Looting, I guess? It 
explosives. Spirit, oh no. Oh boy. That was bad to whiff on lands. That's very not good. We're two and two, one and one in this match, but we needed to hit a land there. Burst Lightning. Delver flips, of course, because it always flips. No? No flip? Are we going to get lucky? Come on. Come on. One to oh, no flip. All right, we're still alive, technically. Oh, we really needed that land there, though. Opponent gets in. Down to eight. Plays a land. Uh-oh. Cracks a land. Are they going to Blood Moon us? Is that going to happen again? Oh, God. Okay. Oh, <laughs> and that's how it ends. Well, let's go out on our own terms with the Thoughtsies. Oh, that was disappointing. Three counters in hand, and that does it. Oh. Well, dredging doesn't do any good, though, because we don't have the mana to to do anything. Oh, wow. So... We end up 2 and 3. Just missed out on the 3 2. Oh, wow. So, Bubble Hulk. I mean, it's cool. And it's a really unique combo. And the combo is. It's really cool to test it out and see what it's like. As far as being super competitive, eh, I don't know about it being super competitive. I think it's more like a a tier three type combo it does really struggle with counter spells it also really struggles with graveyard hate which we luckily did dodge a decent amount of graveyard hate ten dollars from Bulbigs. hey amulet i love that i can always count on your content to put a smile on my face at the end of a tough day keep up the good work well Bulbigs, thank you so much for the donation definitely appreciate it and thank you for the kind words and i'll do my best to keep putting a smile on people's faces so oh <laughs> uh, yeah so i don't know interesting fun but not super heavily highly tier but i'm glad we tried it it was a cool instant deck 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 so i think i'm glad that we tried it and against all odds it's 902 so that means we have like 20 minutes all right let's try it let's try it where's the momir list Let's pull it up. I think we can squeeze in a game before I before I sneak out for no users connected? How is that possible? Hey, Night Archwell. That's weird. Uh I Oh, there it is. So scratched Minicore. Oh wait, there it is. Commando Zacco, Connor the Comrade, Agent Blur, Colin B. So, all right, Connor the Comrade. Oh, there's Commando Zacco. Are you down for playing Commando Zacco? Commando Zacco. All right, so Game of Momir on the way out the door. I'm surprised we get to squeeze it in. Let me pull up the Momir lay. I did not think there was any chance we'd be momiring, but I'm glad we are. A uh, silent drone. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big scoops here for our new subscriber. So close, getting closer. All right, we'll keep lots of lands, but it's all right. So momir is like the randomest format in Magic, but it's really fun. You have this avatar. You start at 24 life. Your deck is all lands. Every turn, you get to discard a card once a turn and pay X mana, and you get a random creature token of that converted mana cost. So next turn, for example, we're going to pay two, discard a land, and we will get a random two drop. It can literally be any two drop in the history of magic. Shiny things. Have a good night. So we're going to see right now what we get. Spin the wheel of Momir Luck. So two drop, discard a planes. We get... What do we get? Loam Dweller. When you cast a Spirit or Arcane spell, you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield tapped. I've never seen that card before. Well, I'm sure I have, but not in a long time. And that actually is kind of sweet. I kind of want to build around that now. 
Maybe the second best. NR Paul, two dollars. Hey Seth, love your content. Just wondering for a bet, what's your last name? Uh, Waterman is my last name. Big Game Hunter. Not very good unless you have um, big creatures. And thank you very much for the donation. Definitely appreciate it. Three donations tonight. That's amazing, everyone. Opponent passes. Uh, let's play a Swamp. And Phyrexian Broodling. Second creature, put a plus one, plus one counter on Broodlings. Well, let's get in with Loam Dweller. I mean, Olive. <laughs> and my first name is Saffron. My parents were crazy hippies. <laughs> or chefs. They were chefs. <laughs> uh... Phone it. Oh no, Spring Jack Shepherd. The infamous mono white goat. Staple. <laughs> uh, have you ever seen that deck on Reddit? We still haven't played it, but it keeps coming up. Opponent passes. I can't believe anyone actually thought my name was Olive. I've told that story a million times about where the nickname comes from. Ooh, Tangle Angler. That can help us eat through some of these goats. I guess we keep attacking. Opponent. Yeah, our league is done. We finished two and three, unfortunately, with with Bubble Hulk. Ran into a lot of counter spells. Oh my goodness. Hey, see ya, NR Paul. Opponent blocks. And we'll pass the turn. Opponent. Dwarven Strike Force. 4 3. Discard a card at random. It gains first strike and haste until end of turn. Interesting. Uh, so to play Momir, you have to have the Avatar, which is like $10. So that's the main investment you have to make. Otherwise, it's just all lands. Once you have the Avatar, you can play as many games. Ooh, Demigod. Whew, that's a good one. You can play as many games as you want for free. Can you play a competitive deck on stream once? We play some semi-competitive decks. We usually play fun decks, though. I don't know if people would want to see just, like, Affinity. The thing with decks like that is there's a million people usually playing them. So if you want to see someone play the best deck in the format... Ooh, you're right. It is the Seductive Goat. The infamous Seductive Goat of Goat Magic fame and Commander Clash fame. Yeah, we got Spell Pierced a lot. So we did some really good things and had some really explosive turns, and then we really scumbled to counter spells. And also Graveyard Hate is miserable, but... Oh! Oh my god. If it's a land, put it onto the battlefield! Yes! Oh, I've never got this card in Momir. That seems absolutely busted in Momir. Oh, wow, that is awesome. Opponent... Katarin Overlord. Sacrifice a creature. Regenerate Katarin Overlord. Search for a mercenary. Pay six. Search for a mercenary. I really want to play mercenaries in Commander, and I've never figured out a way to make it work. Worst deck we've played on stream in recent memory. Oh, man. Uh, there's been some bad ones. What is the worst one? We went 1-4 not very long ago. What is the deck we won Ford with? Have we ever 0-5'd on stream? I'm pretty sure we've 0-5'd a couple times, but not that often. We finished 2-3 with Hulk, unfortunately. Alright, well, let's start putting lands on the battlefield with the Skyward Eye Prophets. <laughs> Momir All-Star. Skyward Eye Prophets. Uh, yeah, we'll take a free land. Not gonna play these islands. Islands are super sad.
All right, nine nine trample, pretty big. I guess Demigod's just gonna close out the game though, unless our opponent hits something. Uh, Mono Red Storm. Oh yeah, I wasn't thinking of decks for Mucha Brew. I think the all-time worst deck we've played on stream or counting Mucha Brew, um, Mono Red or Mono Blue Mill. I think is the all-time. There's very we've played decks that are bad and just don't work out, but. Mono Blue Mill was just, like, not really a functional deck. Also, Kabolds and Vintage was, like, was pretty, was pretty bad. Although, when we updated it for Legacy, it was actually pretty sweet. So, but those are two that stick out as all-time worst ones. We do 5-0 on occasion. What was the last time we 5-0'd on stream? We 5-0'd with... Did we 5-0 with Vengevine? I, I almost... Well, I know I 5 0 Maybe we forward one on stream. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. There was upside. And Mono Blue Mill was mostly just misbuilt was the biggest problem with Mono Blue Mill. Like, you can build a somewhat functional Mono Blue Mill deck. That was just that was just a bad build. It must have been one of those, like, top aided in IQ with seven people type decks because it had like bell tower sphinx and just didn't have enough lands uh bull bags ten dollars let's keep the donation train running what would you say is your favorite commander to build around well thank you again for the donation definitely appreciate it that is awesome everyone thank you so much for the support favorite commander to build around um oh man I'm gonna say the name wrong uh Shizu Shizu no, that's not it either. Oh my god, what's uh So why am I not remembering the name of this card? It is the black it's a mono black commander that returns one mana creatures from your graveyard to play. Um sh I wanna say Shizu, but apparently it's not. Thornscape familiar. Yeah, sure yes, 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 that's what it is. Sher Sherry, Sherry? Yeah, we'll go with Sherry. Sherry Shizu's Caretaker. Yeah, that card is so sweet, and it still... I've played a lot of Commander now, thanks to Commander Clash, and I think my all-time favorite Commander deck is still the Mono Black Storm deck. It infamously doesn't usually work, but man, that deck was super deep on the combos. So I think that's still my favorite commander deck that I've ever built. And that was the commander for that. So I like the combo enabling potential. That, that deck was just a blast. Oh, I was playing like Lich's Tomb. It had, the combo was so ultra jank. And you needed so many pieces to go off. But you could do it because commander, you get to play like a million tutors. So you can find all your horrible pieces and... I've really come around on Commander. I did not like Commander, but... Or I had, like, a... I did not like it. I never really played Commander, but I had this... Reveal any number. Oh! The worst Mana Dork you can get in Commander. Mana Dorks are so good, but that one is not. Until next turn, target creature gains... Can't block... Can't attack or block unless the control plays one for each cleric on the battlefield. All right. Have you considered Eternal Scourge, Mist Hollow Griff, In, and Tor uh, Torrent Elemental? Ooh. You can get them all from Exile, and Selective Memory could effectively draw you nine cards. That sounds really sweet. I have not considered that until right this second. Darba. Going to Daiba on our opponent's upkeep. Because <laughs> they don't have two green mana. Come on, good four drop. Have I ever played Hirobi Death Whale? Four deal two damage to an opponent. Uh, sure. All right, Zealot uh, of the Zealot of the God Pharaoh. Um, I gotta look at Hirobi. I think I did. I can't remember. I played Hirobi. I think we did a only Kamigawa week on Commander Clash. What was the combo? But it was, like, restricted, so there were some combos you couldn't really do with it. But I did... I'm pretty sure that Hirobi was my commander for... For a week. When enters the battlefield... Ugh. We're gonna lose a land here? That's not good. Now we're gonna have to skip a drop? 
because of Viscapa Confessor. Yikes. Yeah, we already did our Bubble Hulk League. Now we're wrapping up with a bit of Momir on the way out the door tonight. So, against the odds tomorrow, I'm super excited for. Against the odds, like, I like... Against odds is always one of my favorite series, but some weeks I really like how things turned out. And tomorrow is one of the weeks where I really like how things turned out. I guess we should have attacked with Zealot, probably. How was your deck in Rough Drafts good? When you went to Mill, I thought you were doing it just for fun. Uh, yeah, it's actually kind of legit. Mill is a supported archetype in Ravnica. That was kind of what the blue-black uh, Demir deck did. So it does actually have pieces to be a real deck. And I think we actually ended up with a pretty good example of the Mill deck, which was sweet. I think our next Rough Drafts is probably going to be Modern Cube, I think. So give me your opinions. We can do a quick, uh, we can do a quick straw poll. So next Rough Drafts, options are a goodbye, goodbye to, oh, actually, I shouldn't even say that. I Can you? Hang on. Let's look at this. I was thinking we could do a goodbye to Battle for Zendikar and stuff, but maybe... Maybe that's not even an option? That's not actually limited. Hour of Devastation, Hour of Devastation. Oh, alright. Never mind. Well, I guess the options are Kaladash, Hour of Devastation, slash Amoncat, or Modern Cube are the three drafts that we can do for the next one. Yeah, they made a lot of changes to the Modern Cube that I'm not a big fan of. That seems to have made it less awesome. Worldway Gauntlet, I think, ends tomorrow, and then Modern Cube comes up. Opponent. Lackalith Titan, whenever it becomes blocked, you may have it deal damage equal to its power to target creature. If you do, ugh, that's big and scary. So I can just shoot down our stuff? Yikes. Well, I guess we can just not block it for a while. Let's make a seven. Man, this is a sad mana dork. Oh. Oh. Well, it's still a 7-7 seven, seven flyer. When it deals combat damage to a player, exile the top seven cards of your library, then put a creature card from among them onto the battlefield under your control. Oh, of that player's library. That could be an interesting against the odds card, maybe. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, Wedge. Hey, big scoops here for Wedge, by the way. Wedge from the Mana Source, everyone. Yes, we, we're playing Momir. Don't worry. Don't worry. I know. I'll be there. I'll be there. I promise. <laughs> oh, I promise. No, not good luck to Wedge. I need all the good luck for my fantasy team. Wedge is the enemy in this one. <laughs> when it comes to magic, the community should all band together and help each other. But when it comes to fantasy football, all bets are off. I'm, I'm against everyone. <laughs> Fona gets a Tomb Stalker. Used to be a legacy staple. There was a time when Tomb Stalker was super heavily played. But then they printed more Delve cards, like Tassiger, that are way more busted, and Gurmag Angler. Although, Tomb Stalker is still not bad. It's like a flying Gurmag Angler. Oh my god, it's Razaketh. Uh, okay. Well, we got the big flyers, and I think that's going to mean I actually make it to... The fantasy football draft on time. Yeah, there's plenty of Bills players for me to pick this year. Uh, they sh I should be able to get them at the very bottom of the draft. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have it auto set. If I miss my first pick, they're just going to auto pick Bills defense for me. Followed by um, Colton Schmidt, the Bills punter. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I think we just win by flying over for victory here. Let's make a, another 8-drop. Actually, that's a bad idea. Let's sacrifice Thornscape Familiar. We're just going to make 9s, because there's a chance we hit, like, Bounce Kraken and ruin everything if we go for 8. So we should probably just make 9s, because they're safe. Also... 
Also bad. <laughs> Grazoff. Well, that's a big blocker, at least. Get in with our big flyers. Hit our opponent. I don't know if it's actually going to be streamed. There was talk about it on Twitter, but I don't know if it'll actually be streamed. And then I think... Uh, I really think it would be fun to do a streamed league, though. But it might have to be next year. Opponent gets hostility. Uh, Commando Zacco. I think I got gotcha. you. Good games, Commander Zacco. Good games, good games. Hey, thank you, Commander Zacco. Yeah, the classic gold border. What were they? Plain shift? Pl no, plain planeswalker decks. There were these weird decks. Oh, man. Back in the day on Magic Online, it was so strange. You got these gold bordered cards when you started playing, but then they actually sold updates in the store. Like, I think it was year by year. So you could buy more gold bordered cards. And there was actually a special room where all you could do was was play gold bordered cards against each other and the card pool was extremely limited like probably 500 cards in the entire format and but they some of them were also very overpowered it was a hilariously horrible format they thankfully replaced that oh i guess i should have made a creature to be sporting oh is this thing stopping me from killing our opponent I don't think so. And we got there. Good game, Commander Zacco. Good game. Well, this worked out amazingly. Other than our draft, or other than our modern deck only going moderately well. So I think we're going to wrap it up early tonight because, as you probably heard rumors of, fantasy football draft, I got to go catch up with Wedge and Chaz and Corbin and all those people and do the draft. So good news is we'll be back on Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern time with another one. And in the meantime, make sure to check out the YouTube channel. If you missed yesterday's Budget Magic, you should really check it out. The deck is super sweet. It's super cheap for modern. It is just super awesome all around. Also, against the odds tomorrow, spoiler videos all the time. Replay YouTube, where you can find all the old streams. This stream will be going up tomorrow if you want to watch the Momir or watch us sometimes win, sometimes punt, sometimes get crushed by Spell Pierce with Bubble Hulk. And, of course, the merch page with tokens and playmats and t-shirts and all that sweet stuff. So, anyway, everyone, I think that wraps it up for tonight you all are amazing thank you to everyone who subbed thank you to everyone who subscribed it was awesome uh we'll be back here on thursday with another one until then i will talk to you soon